What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today is uh, pretty exciting because I'm unboxing my brand new wheel uh, that I got sent to me thanks to the Thrustmaster. So massive thanks to those guys for sending out a wheel to me. Um, I'm so, so, so excited to uh, unbox this. So without further ado, I'll show you what it is. It is the Thrustmaster TS PC Racer. I got this in the mail yesterday. Was totally not expecting it for another few days. So shipping was uh, actually on point for once. But yeah, we're going to unbox this bad boy and it's actually going to be the replacement to my old um, Thrustmaster TX with the F1 rim add-on, which was signed by Sebastian Vettel at the Australian Grand Prix. Back up, boys, guys, girls. Thank you very much. So for a while now, I've been feeling like really bad about driving with that wheel, um, like getting the signature kind of faded a little bit over the over the months, but uh, finally I can replace it and uh, kind of put it in storage. So we're gonna unbox this bad boy now. I first used this wheel back in February when I went for um, pre-alpha testing for F1 2017. David Greco invited me over to his house and um, I tried out his setup and he had this exact wheel and man, it was something else. I just had to have it for myself. If, if Thrustmaster didn't send it to me, I was gonna buy it. So yeah, cheers to those guys. Um, apologies about the dogs as well. Okay, so as we angle the camera down, you can see exactly uh, what is inside the box. I've only got the wheelbase and the wheel um, uh, rim itself. I already have a set of pedals, which is the T3PA pedal. So I didn't, I didn't need to get an extra set. So that's all we're unboxing today. But uh, as you can see, as you open the box, here you're greeted by the wheel rim, which is uh, probably the most important thing. So I'll, I'll grab that out now. It is an F1 styled rim, pretty similar to the one I already have, but it's uh, just that much more uh, premium. So here we go. Actually holding it in my hands for the very first time. Um, yeah, it feels really nice. The old wheel that I had was mainly comprised of plastics, but touching this now, it's all metal and Alcantara. I can't really feel any plastic apart from the connector, which is right here, and kind of this area here. The rest is metal and the, the things that you'll actually be touching when you're driving with the wheel, it, it all feels really nice and premium. That, I'm really looking forward to, to driving this. This is it. This is awesome. I'll put you down here. I will pick you up again, don't worry. But as well, what comes with the box, you have like a, a desk clamp if you want to use it. I won't be needing this because I'll be putting it onto my own wheel stand. So that can just sit over there and collect dust. We have the, uh, I guess it's like the USB connector that goes into the wheel and then plugs into your PC. Again, this is part of the, um, just the desk clamp. Again, we won't be needing that. And this is the power source, which depending on which country you're from, that is of course going to be different. Now as we lift this up, or the foam, we can play with that a bit later, why not? Under here we have uh, the, the, the the server, the base. So so this, for those of you who don't really know too much about wheels, this is where you derive your force feedback from and where just like the main feeling from the wheel comes from. So this is um, the TSPC Racer, if I haven't mentioned already. Um, basically this is like one of the best you know, wheel or wheel bases you can get on the market that isn't like a direct drive wheel. So if you want something that's like plug in and play that, you know, works with PC, this is like one of the best things you can get. So I'm really, really looking forward to trying this out. Um, yeah, this itself is, is worth nearly like a thousand dollars in Australia. It's, it's ridiculous. I'll put the actual price on screen, but it is pretty outrageous. But uh, apart from that, we also have, um, as well, part of the power source, um, this is actually a turbo, um, and actually, <laughs> it, it, it's pretty ridiculous, but it's so cool at the same time. Get rid of the wrapping. This is actually really heavy, really sturdy, uh, believe it or not. It's, it's a good few kilos, so pretty darn sturdy, and uh, I'm guessing it'll do the job quite well. And so that is everything in the box. We can pretty much chuck that out now, and uh, actually put the wheel on the rim, because that is the exciting part. All right, so as a quick demonstration, I will show you all the parts that came with the box. We have the wheel face, we have the turbo that's part of the power supply. Again, power supply, um, desk mount, and just the screw that goes in. Again, that's the USB cable that goes to your PC, and then that is the wheel base itself. 
and this thing will be going right here where the old uh, wheel is. As you can see, there's the signature by Sebastian Vettel and also Kimi Raikkonen. I might actually just stick the wheel face from that and stick it on here just so you guys kind of uh, know what it's going to look like. Now the good thing about Trustmaster wheels is like basically with all their products nowadays they're all pretty much like transferable between all the different parts so if you have like any kind of wheel uh, face like this um, you can stick it on like just about any base and it'll be compatible with the others they all have this like ergonomic system this is me just unscrewing the wheel I'll show you how quickly it is uh, the main bit is actually just unscrewing the screw all you need is a screwdriver and then once you've taken that off you spin this little knob here at the back and then once this has been screwed back you pull the wheel off uh, and if you notice this one has the exact same connector with the old wheel and so you can just basically stick it on so uh, as far as I know I should be able to stick this on my Xbox wheel and possibly use this with uh, console which I which I might in fact do but um, it's just a shame that the the new wheelbase that I've got now doesn't work with console um, that's just the way it goes I think they made a new wheel actually which is pretty much the equivalent of the wheel that I've just got now but it also works with Xbox one so um, that's pretty that's pretty cool timing actually but as you screw it on it basically goes on like that and like that's how quickly it can go on so um, I mean yes you can leave it like that but you basically need to screw in the screw um, behind the wheel so that it doesn't come off. With the force feedback, um, it's pretty easy for this thing to come off. And back in the day, I never used to do that. So uh, just a tip, make sure you screw it in. Otherwise, you might get a surprise one day when you're racing. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the wheel setup. Um, it's essentially going to look pretty much like that, except with that wheelbase um, on the wheel stand right now. And that is going to be my setup for the foreseeable future, at least on PC. I'm not going to get a better wheel than that, that is for sure. But um, if you want to know what this wheel is like for me to drive, uh, I might do like a first impressions video, so if you want to see that, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, to see plenty more uh, racing game content, and uh, I might, I'll, I'll probably even do a review on this wheel as well, maybe even on my old uh, Xbox wheel as well, because um, yeah, a lot of you guys, you know, kind of want to know what kind of wheels I use, and what I think about them, and what wheels are, you know, best for like a certain price point, so if you want to see those videos, be sure to let me know and I'll get on to doing those very, very soon. So yeah, first impressions video is coming soon with this wheel. Um, I'll have like a wheel cam and I'll be playing F1 2017 with it as well. Giving my, you know, live thoughts, live commentary possibly. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thanks as well to Thrustmaster for sending um, this wheel to me. Uh, without them, you know, this video wouldn't be possible. So I'll leave a link to Thrustmaster if you want to check out some of their products. Um, I just, I can't recommend their stuff enough. Their, their wheels are absolutely awesome. The last wheel that I had, I bought myself. So, you know, it's, it's unbiased. I, I, I love their products anyway. And the fact that I got a free wheel uh, sent to me was just like a massive, massive bonus. So, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. Until the next one, I'll see you next time.